zero knowledge about magic. That's perfectly okay. I'm going to try to explain it the best I can. But the, also, this is a complicated set. All right. So we have two manifestation stages, four leyline invocations. So that's some good heavy end game. So I have some good big bodies to just smash people's heads in. So that's good. So for my late game, for my early game, I have two death touchers to just hold the line, prevent them, plus a ramp creature. Quantrix Reprise is great. Um, I'm just going to hover over this for a bit. Um, so whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, I reveal a land card. I can look at the top three, and if there's a land in there, it goes into my hand. So it basically just gets me all the lands I need. Um, yeah, then I have some another land drop here in a rear moment. Another land drop in Field Trip. Then I have some good stops with Whirlwind Denial and Negate. Mentor's Guided to help me draw cards. Eureka Moment to help me draw cards. Ugh. 15 non-creatures, but two of them are artifacts. I hate Golden Ratio. Not the best hand. Will not deny it's not the best hand. I need to draw an island at some point. Oh, hey. Thank you. And if I could draw a second island. Oh, I just realized because I play the forest, I can't play a Quandrix Campus if I draw it. All right. But yeah, golden ratio. I definitely, from playing this. All right. So, I might just, because I'm not drawing the green, I might just grab the intro to Prophecy to get myself the card draw I need. Yeah. Yeah, I want to make sure I actually get to 6 with Leyline Invocation. I'm going to grab the intro to Prophecy. And yeah, this golden ratio over these two games has proven itself worse than Tangle Trap. There have been flying threats I needed to deal with, and um, this card just is, at best, draw a card. And I don't need that, sir. You just, at a certain point, you just don't need that anymore. Ugh. He's a three-color deck. Alright, if I draw a land, I don't do anything with it. So I'm actually going to hold up. So we're just going to hold the Rika moment. Hey, to bed. Good luck. Have a good one. Thank you, sweet kid. Ugh. Alright, as long as I'm just getting hit by a, by the Seekle Eye Twitch, I'm good. And yeah, you just gain a little life, keeping this game slow, but the Leyland Invocation's gonna... Next, I'm gonna give it to you. And next year, I can equip the Team Pennant, Intro to Prophecy, and still keep the Negate active. Which is pretty awesome. Okay, so he's drawing a lot of cards. Yeah, he's ramping pretty solidly. Won't deny that. So I'm ready to negate for the infuse with vitality that he's going to put on the eye twitch. Like so. Bam. Knew it. Saw it coming. He still blocks. Gets his learn. Assuming he's getting an intro to Annihilation. That's my guess. No, just Fractal Summoning. That's fine. Okay, Manifestation Stage is a little late. Neilthorn Drake is also a little late. I guess the Manifestation Stage could have synergized with the Golden Ratio pretty well, but... Let's see, one, two, th Darn Coaling Ritual. Good card. Yep. Would have made a 4-4. Four, four. Good to know. Alright. Let's cram session. Get myself... It's time for the Fractal Summoning. 
And while we wait for that Fractal Summoning, we'll create an 8-8. Eight, eight. Gosh, Cooling Ritual is a really good card. So, as you saw, bore white to me, but also took out my Team Penance. Yeah, Cooling Ritual is insane. And then it gives you mana in the process, so it doesn't even anti-tempo you as it wipes the board. So yeah, Cooling Ritual is a really good card. Bruh. Bruh. Alright. That should be nine. I'm just gonna do nine and see how it... Okay. Just making sure. Alright. Just don't want to get it wrong, you know. Oh, so it's seven. Duh. And yeah, golden ratio right now is literally just a... Like, I could have just um, Tangle Trapped last time. So, like, Tangle Trap is just the better card for this format. Yep, he Fractal Summonings for his own 7-7. Seven, seven. I'm just going to cycle Golden Ratio. Beautiful. I do like playing at least one land because we have more Leyline Invocations. Um... Yeah, we have one more Leyline Invocation and ten lands. I think that's enough, though. I think we gotta stop. We gotta hold this land as if it's a counter spell. Scare him a bit. The only way I win the race is if he's still threatened by what I have in hand. Yep. He can't infuse with Vitality this. I'm trusting he doesn't have a combat trick. Alright, he comes back as a 0-0, zero, zero, buddy. Just thought you should know. Yep. So, in case you're wondering, <laughs> creatures do not come back with their plus one plus one counters, unless it's a card that specifically states enters the battlefield with plus one plus one counters. Counter spell? I'm waiting to see it. Whirlwind Denial is not useful at this point anymore. And yes, I'm okay having an 11-11 instead of a 12-12 and scaring him. Alright. He's not blocking with the OR fall area list. Is he about to play, like, a summoning? Nope. Interesting. Well, I mean, I'm swinging in. What's your response? Burying books? You got a berry? Oh! That's a summoning. <laughs> Just get a bunch of pests to block. This is why Vortex Runner is good. You start getting to a point where the board just kind of, like, mucks up. And then we have an unblockable creature. Huh. Unwilling ingredients, good for him. You could... Alright. So here's the... I'm definitely attacked with the Vortex Runner. I think that's it. I think I wait till I get trampled to get through his pests. Because I... A board stall... Because of my Vortex Runner, the board stall game goes to my favor. And this way I don't have to... Okay, it's no longer in my favor. That was quick. Okay. Loud sound effects. Loud sound effects, thank you. Uh, at least I still have a 4-4. Four, four. Yep. Alright. I'll attack with a 4-4 four, four now. Because he doesn't have enough... That's a good card in this board state. So it's now 4-4 four, four, and 7-9-9, nine, nine, but it has Trample again. And we're applying pressure. He would need specifically infuse with um, Fortifying Draught, I believe is what it's called, to um, block that 4-4 four, four successfully without using his Archmage. Let's put another stop so I can do that Quandrix Campus again. Alright. He is drawing through a lot of his deck. Cannot deny that. Or a third Infuse, you're correct. Fuse Vitality could also solve that. Alright. 
So there's a trick he's doing, and I'm seeing it. He's going to double block this to give himself another churn. I'm not allowing that. I'm attacking with just Vortex Runner now. I will not let him gain life off of his pests. I actually want to save the Manifestation Stage. No reason to develop more on this board right now. So now he needs an answer to Vortex Runner. He's going to attack with all his pests, and I'm not going to block a single one. Go ahead. He's infusing just to give himself the health. Just to give himself the health, because he knows the situation he's in. Uh. Notice the amount of cards left in his deck. He is running low. We might just win by mill if this continues. Well, Manifestation Sage forced that, at least. Please tell me that upkeep trigger was in time. It is not a May. Whenever you cast an Insider Sorcery spell. Sure. That's fine. I mean, I'm not milling myself faster than he is. That's not going to work anymore. So he's afraid of milling himself out. I think not attacking is the play. I think you're correct there. So he would have to block with his Archmage. Um... That's fine. What's an 11 10 to a 12 12? As long as the Archmage is in play, he can't play certain cards. He's going to attack with the Archmage, is my bet. Alright, Pledge Mage. That last card is unplayable for him. How's this for pressure? Go ahead, remove one. Eleven cards left versus three. Is that him suiciding? Is that him accepting that the game's over? Yeah, he even grabbed the land. He has this turn and next turn, and then he kills himself. Unless he has Wormhole Serpent. Unless he plays Wormhole Serpent right now, he's dead. What can he do to get himself out of this situation? The only thing I could think of is, like, give him Trample, which is why I wasn't blocking with a 4-4. Infuse, go right ahead. Go right ahead, please. Bam. Congratulations, you played yourself. Uh... That felt good. That felt good.